Hawaii is one of those places that are kind of off the radar. We take it for granted. And, but no, there's a lot happening in Hawaii. And I'm going to tell people some of what I know about it too, as well, that you may not know about. And that's going to do something uh, tonight. If you don't know, it's a new segment, Sheila. Hmm. Drum roll, please. Okay, it is the real deal Hawaii. Hawaii. That's right. You can get yourself four nights and five days excursion all on Lisa Bethy's watch. So that's right. Hawaii is the 50th state, but they are targeted and almost being occupied, not necessarily by the U.S. as you might think, but there is a major, major CCP entanglement going down over there. I'll get to in a second, but let me tell you this first. If you've heard in uh, media recently in the alternative uh, realms of it, well, you might have heard of something that's happening in Hawaii called poisonous water, similar to Flint, Michigan, and it's really bad. And it's not being done this time by oil tycoons or T Boone Pickens or, you know, the one armed man necessarily. No, it's being done by, they're saying, United States Navy. Wow, I did not know that. Well, we're going to take a look into this report here by a friend of mine, Abby Martin. She did a great job at this. As she goes into a, somewhat of a deep dive in the few minutes we'll spend on this into what exactly are they dumping? Why Hawaii? Why would you, this beautiful, majestic place where the tourism is their capital, you know, their commerce? Why Hawaii? Because Hawaii is very key. And I'll tell you why after the fact. U.S. Navy has just poisoned thousands of people in Hawaii with deadly chemicals in their drinking water. And instead of acting to save lives, they're engaging in a massive cover-up. This ongoing disaster is the result of the Navy recklessly storing millions of gallons of fuel, literally 100 feet from Oahu's largest drinking water source. This story should be treated as the national scandal it is, but so far it's been largely absent. Watch the man who's been sounding the alarm for years, Hawaii Board of Water Supply Chief Engineer Ernest Lau, at a press conference on December 3rd, right after he was forced to shut down the island's essential aquifer. I think this is a foreshadow, foreshadowing of what could happen to the broader community if we don't do something about these, the storage of this uh, of fuel, uh, over 180 million gallons of G diesel and jet fuel 100 feet above our drinking water aquifer, if we don't do something about uh, eliminating that risk to the, uh, to the water resource. Uh, so I think it's time for action now. Uh, it is time. We cannot wait any longer. The water resources is, is precious. That's just a little sample of, of what we're, what's going on in Hawaii. And it is just a, a travesty after travesty. And uh, I want to bring uh, Sheila Walker up here, who's running for Senate of the 6th District over there in Hawaii, because, look, it's corrupt to high heaven, that place is, to the eyeballs. And uh, we're going to talk about that corruption and have a, maybe a kind of a kind of a lengthier discussion about overall what, what the strategy is going forward and what her platform really is standing on. And if it's anything to do with uh, her love for what we do here, then I'm sure it's the kind of platform I want to get behind. Uh, Sheila, I'm going to bring you back. So you just saw that and you saw that man who was, you know, very, very emotional because it is, it's a very beautiful land. And why are they purposely from what we see here dumping uh, toxins in, in, into your water? So the question of why, I don't know. And I do wish my video was working and why that's not working i don't know either because i'd love for you to see the passion on my face as well because i am so passionate about this issue and it's not just the water on oahu because that's obviously being perpetrated as they say by the navy i don't know if that's true or not but the red hill issue is uh on the navy grounds but there's water issues everywhere on these islands. Every single island has a distinct water issue, and I can describe them all. Here on Maui, where I live, there's two water issues here. One are injection wells. They actually have injection wells here where they collect water sewage 
And then at certain times when the sewage gets too, the sewage levels get too high, they pump it out into the ocean. It's called an injection well. Why is that acceptable? How does the environmental agencies allow for that? I don't know. The other thing that happens here on Maui is the mm -hmm. water rights being diverted from farmlands to the resort areas. So they will block streams, block water that are supposed to go to farm agricultural lands, and then they pump it into the resort areas so the resorts can have swimming pools and waters in their uh, toilet sanitation system. So isn't our agricultural system more important? I don't know. I don't understand how it got this way or why it's this way. All I know is that someone needs to get into office and correct this and turn this around. And I'm the person to do it because it's been going on for 60 years. The yes. one party democratic system here has been controlling this like a cartel for 60 years. And we're not going to take it anymore. We're not going to stand for it. You yeah, go to vote. SheilaWalker.com. And, you know, we, we talk about taking our sovereignty back, taking our lives back. Well, it starts in the local areas. And it if you're waiting for a leader, you're going to wait for a master. Because you know mm -hmm. why? That's what you're going to get. That's why you have to take the initiative yourself, just like Sheila Walker did. And not to mention good taste she has in, in the type of shows she's a, watches and affiliated with. Sheila, thank you so much. And I hope to uh, have you on as the campaign trail heats up and maybe even a Saturday night live stream, I heard. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dean. It's an honor and a pleasure to be with you tonight. Likewise. Thank you very much. Good night. All right. What a night it's been. And I haven't even taken a break. Uh, this is World at War. And it is a war indeed, and it's a war on for our uh, livelihoods. I've been running, cruising with you throughout the night here, into midnight and beyond. Thank <laughs> you.